There are a number of diseases that infect the gastrointestinal system. I think the most commonly known are those that affect malignancies, particularly of the colon. So something like 25% of individuals who develop colon cancer have an affected family member. We can use genetic testing to try to identify mutations in some of those families, specifically to provide more effective targeted care. That is surveillance for individuals who carry mutations in the genes that increase risk of cancer, and being able not to have to screen, for example, with colonoscopy uh, very frequently, individuals who have their risk that's no greater than the general population. By having this sort of genetic stratification, we can both improve outcomes, decrease uh, adverse events, and decrease costs. I think New York Presbyterian Hospital is actually unusual in that we have a particular focus on gastrointestinal disease genetics. So I talked a little about colon cancer. Some of the other diseases that are important that we can test for are hemochromatosis, which affects iron overload, causes problems with the liver, uh, problems with reproduction, problems with diabetes, for example. Other diseases include connective tissue disorders, that is, individuals who uh, may have uh, problems with, causing, with having perforations or tears in their gastrointestinal system. We also have genetic testing for these in order to try to provide surveillance to particularly try to improve the you know, ability of, uh, of specific areas not to tear again through the use of um, you know, uh, implants. 